So I'm running uh, Windows 8 Professional and I'm on my desktop. I'll just show you. This is the uh, start screen. So we'll go back to desktop. And what we want to do is we want to install another operating system. And in order to do that, we have to set up a virtual machine for it. Uh, so I'm going to go into the Hyper-V Manager. And we've had a couple of other videos to talk about Hyper-V. So if you're not familiar with it, you might want to watch those first. Uh, we've already made a uh, Unix installation uh, as a virtual machine. This time we're going to install uh, Windows 7 Professional 32-bit. Uh, and uh, we have an ISO, an ISO image on the desktop. And uh, I got that because we're a Microsoft developer, so we can download uh, the images from Microsoft. Uh, otherwise, I'd have to buy a, a DVD, and I could install it from a DVD. But uh, in order to set that up, let's just go click on our machine with the uh, left mouse button. And I'm going to right mouse button click, choose New Virtual Machine. And we'll go through the uh, Virtual Machine Wizard here again. So I'm going to call this New Virtual Machine Windows 7 Pro. And I want to put it out on my H drive. I made a directory for it. I'll just select that folder and do a next. I want to give it uh, 3 gig of RAM. So we're going to do 3 thousand meg and we're going to set the dynamic use for the virtual machine so it'll take as much memory as it needs going to give it that ethernet connection we created in the other video and uh, going to check this i'm only going to give it 80 gig of disk space so we're pretty much just going to play around with it if you wanted if you had more disk space you can do whatever you want but for this example i'm going to choose 80 gig uh, I want to install it from the ISO image that's on my desktop. So we'll go to the desktop. And we'll select the ISO image. Now, in your case, if you're not a Microsoft developer, uh, you'll probably have to install it from a DVD. So you just choose install it from your DVD drive. And uh, then we'll finish. This will take a while, and I'm going to pause the video. Uh, when it gets to be boring. So right now it's, cr oh, actually it's creating it. What we have to do now is we have to turn it on. So we have to connect to it. And as soon as we connect to it and start it, it should start installing the operating system. So now it's uh, loading the ISO file and starting Windows. You can see now Windows 7 is starting to run on Windows 8 here. And it's going to ask us questions. I'm going to choose install now. Now the speed of this, I'm installing this on an Intel i3 processor. So, and I'm also installing it from a hard drive. Uh, if you have an SSD... I'm going to do the custom install and install it to the drive there. To the 80 gig temporary drive that we made up. So this is going to take a bit. I'm going to pause the video. And as soon as it's ready there, it'll, it'll, I'll start the video back up again. Okay, right now it's at uh, 97%, 98%. It's taken probably about 12 to 15 minutes to get to uh, this level. And I may pause the video again. But uh, it's expanding the files, 99%, 100%. And we'll install the features, which will take a little bit of time. It's 
installing the updates. If this has to go out to the internet, this is, uh, uh, this is Windows 7, not the service pack. Okay, completing installation. Okay, and it'll restart itself. We can uh, make it go faster by clicking there, but I'll just wait for it to finish. And now you can see that uh, Windows 7 Professional is starting up on Windows 8 in a virtual machine. So I'm sure I'm going to need to configure this a little bit more and put my serial number and password in or put my key in to unlock this version. So I'm going to probably pause the video and then we can uh, come back to this um, after it installs. Okay, now it's asking me to set up my uh, Windows 7 Professional. So I'm going to give this, uh, just call it a WN7 VM virtual machine. You can name yours, whatever you want. Put a password in for yourself. I'll put the product key in. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the video so you guys can't. Uh, I'm gonna turn this off so it doesn't activate right away. Uh, that way I can play around with it and add it and delete it and whatever. But uh, I'll pause the video. Okay, now I'm just going to use the recommended settings. Set it to uh, central time. And uh, central time, why is the clock off? Should be 2 o'clock. Uh, work network and I'll probably pause the video again as it's installing uh, okay and now it's uh, running I'm gonna right mouse button click and uh, set the screen resolution to be a little bit lower so the whole thing fits so I'll say keep the whole thing fits on my screen here I'm recording this at a lower resolution so it's easier for you guys to see it and there you go Windows 7 running in a virtual machine on my Windows 8 computer so we'll flip over to there go back to the desktop and I have Windows 7 running in a virtual machine.